Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, episode 3 of Subnautica. Uh, so, if you've missed it so far, we have uncovered uh, the, the, not the wreckage, but evidence that there was a previous uh, crash on this world, uh, the Degasi. And that there were three survivors of the initial crash, and then eventually, uh, after they were exploring the depths, only one person came back alive, and they were talking about an infection, so who knows what happens with them. Uh, and that's actually what we saw in the, like, I don't know if that was a teaser trailer or what, but uh, there's a guy talking about how the infection is taking its toll and two other people are already dead and all, all that good stuff. So, yeah, uh, as far as progress towards our own survival goes, we have made the Seamoth and uh, we're actually going around in it. We, we found a landmass and we have not found a single other Aurora survivor and I'm not holding out hope. Uh, we had a weird psychic vision of some creature saying come to me and uh I'm sure that's perfectly normal not infection induced at all I mean so far self scans say that we are not infected so I guess we're not infected uh so the agenda for today is one I want to repair the aurora uh because while I will attack any creatures that come near me with the intent of hurting me, my goal is not to wipe out an entire planet's ecosystem with a failing reactor core, so I can go repair that. What else? Uh, I might make a base today. Uh, it really depends on first how much time I have, and second if I found the scanner room or not. Because um, that's going to be one of my, my big reasons for making a base is the scanner room, so I can search out specifically wrecks. Because wrecks are how I'm going to uh, unlock pieces for bigger and better technologies. And uh, one of those technologies, specifically the Cyclops, is going to be necessary if we want to really progress further in this game. So that's, that's what's coming up, maybe today. So let's, uh, let's dive into the game. I need to stop making that joke. It's honestly unintentional at this point. <laughs> dive in. Uh, it's just, you know, something I say a lot. Ah, uh, the cinematic trailer, that was... That was where we learned about the, uh, the Degasi. So it's... I'm sorry for what I presume I dropped frames. Yeah, look at that. The title screen of the game, I don't know what's going on there. It just does not want to run. I don't understand it, really. Our ship got wrecked. Look at that thing.
Uh huh. That was interesting. Alright, so what did we last listen to on the radio? I think we got a new. Yeah, Life Pod 13. We also had the proposed Degasi habitat. Is that the depth? Or distance from the pod? I think that might be the depth. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda. And we have a saying there. Uh huh. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Uh huh. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. But that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Uh huh. It might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Sounds great. Uh. Signal location uploaded to PDA. You have a much nicer voice than whatever that other robot was. Uh, I'll just mark this as well in orange. I think I'll put all the life pods in orange. Alright. Well, this all seems to be in order. So we have... That's pretty far away. This one's not. Uh, that one's also pretty far away. Yeah, so we have the laser cutter. Uh, we could go to the Aurora now. We have the laser cutter, we have the repair gun, we have inventory space, we have a radiation suit. We have everything we need. I was going to check... Vehicle upgrades, base pieces. Base rooms. Ah, one out of three for scanner room. Okay. So that's really what I would like to have. Although that's pretty sweet. So is this. I want one of these. Magnetite? Huh. Uh, this would be good to grow those gel sacks. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's daytime, the war is right over there. I think that's priority number one for me. Where is my Seamoth? It's right over here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Whoops. Alright. Let's go do this. Yeah, yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. the secret trench opening. Or is this the area with the gel sacks? I think this is the area with the gel sacks. Stalkers, you... I'm not going to say that you don't scare me, because you do. What is going on here? Okay. Nah. Um, I don't think I need to pick up all this titanium now. I'd probably wait on that. I wonder if any of this stuff is scannable. 
I wish I had like a external scanner so I didn't have to get out. Cause I know there are like uh, sand sharks in this area. Alright, nothing nothing important here. That just looks like metal salvage. This is a floating box. Sure. Should I be concerned that they're giving me <laughs> med kits? It's one of those things where games have taught us that if they're going to give us a bunch of med kits, uh, we may want to watch our backs and our fronts and every direction. Ooh. Battery it may have been a power cell, but I'm pretty sure it was a battery. Ah, there's a sand shark right over there. Uh, well, that looks scannable. That looks like metal salvage. Something over here may be scannable. Excuse you? Yeah, you go away. cannon. I want one of those. That's one out of two. Wait, what? No. This thing, what, where did this thing go? all this metal salvage, so I'm just kind of ignoring it. Uh, but I will try and scan things if possible. Like something like this looks scannable. Not particularly. course take free items that are handed to me. What are you doing up here? Hey buddy. I don't think that's actually an entrance. Much as I want it to be. They actually are attacking my sea moth, but I'm not too worried about them. There are uh, other things to be concerned about. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. It's good to know. I mean, you could have told me that a while ago. Right, is this a way in? You be quiet. Okay, so this is like my least favorite part of the game. Um, cause the they do not make it obvious where you can and cannot enter the ship. There are a lot of invisible walls and just like fake openings. So I'm going to flounder around for a little bit, 
hoping to get somewhere relevant. Oh! I don't actually think this, this is a relevant location. I think I have to go out. I think I have to be... Uh, this plate that's above us, I think that's actually my docking plate. This is a floor. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm Fast sure it is. What? Equipment and laser cutters may be required. Yeah. Exploration okay. is conducted at your own risk. Well, I, you told me the thing's falling apart. And it's gonna destroy or cause irreparable harm to the ecosystem. You can't go back on that now. Why can't I pull out my knife? There we go. That was weird. I kept pressing the button and it was like, nah. I didn't bring any food or water. That may have been a mistake. Oh, hey, water. Okay. Maybe we won't get punished. The digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, whoops, I meant this one. <gasps> so these are scavengers, I assume? Like they're just scavenging food off of the dead bodies? Alright. Looks like water, not to be a problem. dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... Oh, right, I brought a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Oops. Don't need to put out all the fires. And I'm not going to. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Yeah, alright. Alright, so we now know how to make the propulsion cannon. That's Integrating new PDA data. One of the things we wanted. Um Exiting. Sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, <laughs> I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Oh, Thank oh. you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. 
Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a spacewalk in my skivvy. Mm, you don't want to do that. Integrating new PDA data. Yes! A suit poster. I really help if you didn't spawn fires in areas I already cleared them. So was that literally everything? I mean, what, what am I supposed to do in here? What did we download? Codes and clues. Notes to self. Cairo Bay Code. 1454. So, across the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. We try to exhaust the galaxy just for cells. The cyclical nature of progress. Can we? I'm sure we can get over here. Okay, there's no reason to be over here. Uh-oh. Yes! Alright, we do not need a propulsion cannon. I was actually worried about that. Hopefully we don't need one to get out of here. Alright. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Thanks, computer. You're making me feel safe. Oof, love bite. I'm glad we didn't bring water with, because we are inundated. Food! Uh, ooh. Get what you deserve. So, Altera is actually, like, a full government in and of itself? That's... Team of Engineers. Ooh. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Not that it's not important, I just... I don't think it's that important. What's extra lore? I do like lore. But I'm also trying to, you know, finish the stream here. Ooh! Okay. We now have... Point do we say no to water? I don't think there's anything back there. Just being thorough. Again, I'm not going to try to put out every fire. There's just too many of them. this yet. That's good food. Good eating. Right, is there anything? Ah, hey!
Not a fan, friends. Not a fan. What? Well, if they just phase through the wall, now I'm even more afraid of them. Alright. That's... That's the enemy we have to face now. Hello? Can we... Hello? Oh, this is the laser cutter, not the repair tool. Um... There we go. We're smart. Alright, so what's over here? A PDA? Ooh. Integrating new PDA data. Spawning players on beach. So, there's a VR suite. Desert Island Drama. Vrat. Three players. Spawn players on beach. Player one has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player two has traded a coconut with player three for ten credits. Planted a coconut that they just got. Players are getting hungry. Player three has grown a coconut tree. Player three has eaten a coconut. Player three is no longer hungry. Trade a coconut with player two for thirty credits. Oof. Dude. Player three knows what's up. Thirty credits for a musket. <laughs> wow, that. Okay, that is online gaming. Uh, we know how to make the seamoth, so I'll. If I have room at the end of our trip, I'll come back and grab those things. But for now. I don't need the titanium. You can grab it from elsewhere. Alright, so what's down this way? Prawn Bay and locker rooms. Uh, I like the sound of Prawn Bay. Ooh, that's very bright. Oh, so that takes a while. And a lot of power. There's some, uh... Crew of the Mongolian vessel Degasi. So there it is. Uh, the reason we are on this planet at all. Why we came within range of this planet. So the logs I found are actually the logs of the people we were trying to find. Almost a decade ago. Yeah, I don't know if they survived a decade. I should probably not read this while underwater. Yep. Okay. So that's... That's some of the mystery of why we're here. Integrating new PDA data. Sweet offers. Tell me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. We've plain got nothing to do till we get at Starside to work on the gate. You want to taste the stars, you only got to say. My spare's prawn suit's got your name on it. You don't know what your what power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily mechanically augmented hands. Yeah, I don't think that's your bare hands anymore. Just let's just be honest about that. 
We're gonna play catch with a passing meteor come by cabin number one. Codes 1869. Okay, that's good to know. I'll probably end up using that. Thank you for letting me hack into your locker area. Alright, I don't th think there's anything else in here except for this battery. See, now I look like a genius for packing a spare fire extinguisher. Which doesn't quite make up for the uh, time I spent in the laser cutter at a repairable surface. Does this water hurt? I'm just going off of the, like, giant sparks. Power cell. I did want a power cell. Those are quite good. There's probably stuff to get in the water. Huh. It's a lot of fire. Oh, right, okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. There we go. None of these consoles got an upgrade in them. Oop, oh, oh, that's, that's fire. fun with that. Oops. Uh, okay, come on. Come on. Yeah, I know. I've got a radio call. I'll get to it eventually. This would be a bad ladder to use. Poster! We need it. If at all possible, I'd like to not have to put out fires. Integrating uh, new PDA data. Space Bear. Oh. Oh. Like Skype with tardigrades have adapted and flourished for no okay. Into a smooth, nutty, protein rich soup. Ew. Cotton pie or nutrient block, dried fruits and nuts. Delicious. These guys were living like kings. Huh? Guys, we gotta keep calm poster, I think. The game's trying to tell us to keep calm. I found another fire extinguisher. I'm going a little bit nuts. I'm just trying to see if there's any like food in here that I could that I could take up. No.
no food. How about them jumping puzzles? Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't need food. I need... I just need a constant stream of water. Uh, I'm gonna consume the filtered water first, because it's less nutritional. Uh, cabin one. All right. So this was the sweet offer, eighteen sixty nine. Boom. Guess we'll scan the double bed. I guess sleep is something we can do. Oh yeah, the responsible autonomous relationships. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. What a society to live in. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection, nothing good is ever free. If every physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Personal relationships are the same. It is important for people to get what they need from multiple sources. If a person finds a better source of the goods they require, they are not wronging the original supplier by changing their purchasing arrangements. If one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it is performing competitively. There is always room for improvements. Oh, man. This society just sounds miserable. I'm going to be honest. Uh, sure, I'll take this blue cap. Ooh, wall shelves. Arcade Gorge toy. Okay. Uh, what do we What do we have to do? I think we have to use a med kit. Perfect. That looks super dangerous. <laughs> captain's quarters. I did not find codes to the captain's quarters. Oh, whoops. Single bed. Uh, we do not need more water. We don't need these carryalls. Do I already have a land poster? Yeah, okay, I don't need two. That would just be silly. If they have the other poster, though, I know there's another one. There it is. Oh, we don't need more water. Wait, this is the same picture. <gasps> Multiple people! I guess it's not so taboo in their society. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just don't need this many med kits. We also don't need this much water or this many batteries, but I guess it just means things I don't have to do. Integrating new PD. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. 
I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. <sighs> Integrating new PDA data. Charity is an archaic concept which the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Terra Alms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity because we don't ask for handouts. We prefer to think of ourselves as a philanthropic beneficence facilitation service. Buzzword bingo. Promoting synergy between employer and workforce. Oh dear. I don't want to touch this society with a 10 foot pole. Including my character, nothing good. <laughs> Natural selection, too. That's funny. Battery. Okay, maybe now I have too many batteries. And I'm not going to take the natural selection, too, Faster. I'm, you know, I'm good. I'm going to promote other, other games within this game. Uh, whoops. Wow, well, I just got real turned around there. I don't know why. So, we're going to do some diving. Uh... Cool beans. First, we're going to see if there's anything down here that we want. Scan-wise. Scan wise GMG. Doesn't look like it. Then we're going to try and find our way through this maze of junk. Now there's an exit somewhere. Thought there was an exit somewhere. I'm just gonna spend like hours searching this tiny little area. Oh, look at that. I did it. Alright. Uh, pretty rough. Integrating new PDA data. So we have this black box data. Uh, High velocity energy pulse detected on planet surface. Yeah. So that's that's a problem. Um, I could have sworn there was Are those giant power cells. That's crazy. I there was a PDA that had uh, a code to the captain's quarters. Because I believe that's important. Or 
a code to this room. Also important. We're gonna grab this, but um, we need air. Alright, so that was the lab access. 6483. Yet another one, I guess I was, uh, should not have been concerned about. Oh, there's a door, like, right here. I suppose you can't get in with a, without a propulsion cannon, though. It's kind of sad. Anything scannable down here? Uh, what, what room is this? Alright, so... 6483? Maybe this is the lab. Apparently it is. Wait. Yeah, I, I can't take Data that out. Corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Integrating new PDA data. Large sample flask inventory. Okay. If these things are non functional, I don't really want to take them. Oh, this was both of the doors. Okay. That's, they did something about repairing my PDA. And then I got a new... What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? Okay, uh... I don't know the code to the captain's quarters, though. I thought that was something I was supposed to learn. Wait a minute. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought this console was supposed to tell me that. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Wait, so what did I get from here? The, the... The hive mind stuff? That doesn't seem like a... Great use of my resources. Okay, well, I guess... Let's just go repair the drive core, and then we can figure out what we're gonna do next. We spent literal days in this place. I think there's any PDAs in here. I guess, uh, let's... Can we, like, jump onto the railing? Do I see any PDAs down in that mess? I do not. Okay. Didn't 
actually hurt me at all. There's something up there. Alright, well. I guess the next step is to... go the other direction. Which was... back here. Not that way, but this way. Yes. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not prepare the qualifications. The qualifications are I'm still alive. Is that is that good enough? Does that satisfy the requirements? I guess let's just go put out a bunch of fires, because infinite fire extinguishers, which I like. I like that they saw this and they're like, you know what, fire extinguishers are a necessary commodity. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. I don't know what that means. New blueprint acquired. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Oh. What a weird thing to be scannable. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Ugh, those little squirmy things. Fight me, but I will destroy you. I'll cook you while doing it, because that's just what my knife does. It's efficient like that. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. I don't repaired. feel like she needs to say that every Further time. Further breaches detected. The on-screen prompt is good enough. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. To this side. Do I see any more sparks below water? Yes. Oh, I saw a little squirmy guy over there. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Where are you? Buddy. Alright, I think I got all of them. Um, there we go. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected.
drive core breach sealed. Radiation levels decreasing. We got achievement. Because the uh, extinction level event was avoided. Yeah, it turns out you don't want to uh, cause extinction level events. They're not great. There's a lot of paperwork involved. It's just, it's, it's a whole thing. But in all of that, we did not get... Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Were you the one that was warping through the wall? Uh, we did not get the code to the captain's quarters, and that's a little bit worrying. Because I kind of need that. It's, it's an essential part of winning. I believe. So I'm going to take one more look around in there. See if I missed any data pads. Any at all. Might as well. There's so much water around here. It's actually a bit unbelievable. Okay, so... that it's up there cuz I don't I don't know how we're supposed to get up there Can I just No Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is with that Data pads or anything left in here. Getting a little bit of lag. Nothing in here. Zero zilch nada. Bad kind of water. Uh, yeah, so. And here's the thing, I, I could hack into it. It's not difficult, it's just time-consuming. I don't really want to do that on stream. And if it's not on stream, I don't really want to do it.
are the... I wonder if it's actually in one of the... Yeah, like, one of the life pods. I'm gonna operate on that theory and we might have to come back here someday. Yeah. Uh, but for now... Oh, you can close the door. Interesting. For now, I think I'm just gonna head out. I think we've spent enough time here. Get out. Oh, you can probably just walk up the ramp. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. This looks kind of bad. Like, I wouldn't want to be here. The whole thing's kind of on fire. We did go over here, right? Spiders to deal with. Huh? This ship is huge. Alright, so there's a door. Where was that? Uh, behind here? I think there was a shortcut door. Uh, I don't know how to get to it from this side. Probably. Yeah, it's over here, okay. Anything scannable over here? No, just a bunch of cra crab spider thingers. Hey. I'm still alive, you can't bite me. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip a few things here in case we run into trouble along the road. Yes. Welcome aboard, Captain. I should repair this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that since you know we're here and we have a couple seconds. Let's do repair tool one. <gasps> okay, so now we have to find our way back out of this ship. There we go, and back home. Although, you know, that's pretty close. Oh, but it's night. Uh, 
Not a big fan of diving at night. Yeah, I... Oh, also, we're full on loot. Let's just... Let's go home, drop off loot. That's ominous. Why have we not visited that life pod yet? Oh, those guys just appeared out of nowhere. Did I have one of these devoted to water? I feel like I did. That's copper. That's titanium. This was random junk, including a fire extinguisher. Okay, this has some water in it. I guess fill her up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, here you can have this arcade gorge toy that I picked up for reasons. What are the little b bleeder things? What was it doing way out here? Speaking of things I wanted to check out, uh, let's climb this. Let's use this. Vehicles, Cyclops ingredients, and yeah, that makes sense. Prawn suit. I don't know if we have two diamonds. That would be awesome to get. So, Plasteel ingot times two means 20 titanium. Wait, Plasteel? No, what's, what goes into Plasteel? I don't even know. Uh, aerogel is ruby and diamond, uh, sorry, ruby and gel sack, which I think we have enough to make two of those, so that's good. Enamel glass is what? Glass and the uh, tooth, I believe? And then diamond and lead. So we need to know what plasteel is, and we need to make other stuff. So we know we're going to need enameled glass, so I'm going to take two quartz and a tooth, uh, two rubies, Here, why don't you just take four med kits? Uh, then we also needed the gel sacks, two of those, so boom, boom. Let's go inside and make sure we have the right ingredients. Perfect. We guessed correctly for enamel glass. So Plasteel is Titanium Ingot and 2 Lithium. Oof, that's a tall order. Oh! Prop 
propulsion cannon. Might be nice. I think we've, you know, used the majority of what we... But the majority of, of what we would use it for is the, um... Uh, exploring the Aurora. Let me finish my thoughts. Majority, majority of what we'd use it for is exploring the Aurora, so... I think most of it's done already. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. Oh, so I have to go find this, this thing? I can't just look at a coordinate log? That's annoying. Uh, so 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section. Uh, Stern is the back? The front? I don't, I don't remember. I, I thought it was fore and aft. Where does stern come in? I know that's another nautical term. Oh boy. I'll figure it out. So I need to make room for... the, uh... the titanium... ingots. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Also titanium and get then we need to get a two lithium. I don't think I'm gonna have nearly enough lithium for this. Where is my lithium? Oh, I have exactly enough. Woot woot. Now the problem is I don't know if I have enough titanium for all of this. Always off by one. No, I don't. Okay, so... Everything I need is now in there. away. Uh, I'm going to put some posters away. I don't really need to be carrying them. So 
take one of those waters with me, wherever I put those. Okay. We got food, we got water, we need to go get titanium, and as we saw, there's a ton of it over by the Aurora. So let's just go over there. their crash powder. Uh, I will take this titanium, though. But I can just upgrade, or access the upgrade port from out here. Ooh. It's big. It's big news for me. Know there's a bunch of metal salvage out here, so we'll have lots to do in this area. I don't have an office chair yet. How many different types of chair do you need? Okay, so let's go get oxygen and then we're gonna look for an entrance. last fragment? Looks like it. She's not announcing anything, which is a little bit worrying. 
Like normally she'd be announcing new blueprints acquired. dark in there, just suddenly. So I can't hold another big piece of metal salvage. But if this is like a sea glide fragment, perfect. Go home. So, why exactly do I care if you're carrying high priority passenger remains? Like, they're already dead. Why are they that important now? This might be another of those uh, societal questions. some titanium up. Let's make that titanium ingot. And we're just going to turn the rest of the middle salvage into titanium in as well. There's no reason to keep it. Okay. That's new. Oh, stasis rifle, of course. Takes magnetite, so I'm glad we found one. That sounded like it'd be kind of a pain to make. Alright. Where are all my. Oh, they're there. It's, looks like some of them have been moved. So. We need the lead, we need the lithium, we need just everything except for that med kit. But I'm gonna take the med kit out so I can store more titanium. we have everything we need. Wow, that guy's real close. And also, like, on the surface. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't pick it up. I might climb. Right, I have to make the plasteel ingot. Ha-ha! We are doing it. Normal one first, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. 
drone operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Goodbye forever. All right, we did it. This is awesome. And I think that's where we're going to actually uh, end it for today. So, I mean, just checking the time. Yeah, it was a perfect time to end it. So, we did some amazing things today. We, we first of all, saved the planet by shutting down the Aurora's reactor core while shielding it again properly. Uh, and we also made a prawn suit, and it wasn't even that hard. The only stuff we were missing was titanium. Like, we did a good job picking up random materials along the way. It was, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, so now, I think next time we get to do this life pod and go there and also go over there and we have a message so let's go see what's up Aurora we're approaching the planet now we have a landing site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives we've sent you the coordinates It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. That's actually a really good time to end it then. So, now we get to look forward to next episode. Going and getting rescued. I was hoping to play around with the prone suit for a bit, but, uh, you know, I, I guess we, we, we do have 39 minutes to get to wherever they're telling us to go, and I'm sure it's not that far. The world's not that big. At least the, the in-game world that they actually allow us access to is not that big. So, yeah. I think uh, that we'll do a little bit of exploration. We'll probably go get life pod, the, the two life pods we know about, and maybe the third one that... We, we know about, but we don't know how to get to. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there, and we'll, we'll meet the Sunbeam, and we'll get rescued, and we'll have a good time. A, a generally good time. So, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of what I have done, I record everything as a video on demand here on Twitch, and it also gets exported to my YouTube channel. There's a link in the channel description down below. Unless you're watching on YouTube, in which case there's a, link to, there's a link to my Twitch channel in the video description down below. So, uh, you can come watch me play games live. It's, uh, it's a good time. You get to chat with me and then interact, and then we get to joke around and have fun. Uh, if you want to... Oh, right, that is more of what I do. So, as for when I stream, I plan on streaming this... Oh, as often as possible this week, um, like once a day. I don't think I'm able to do be able to do Tuesday. Uh, but other than that, I think I have a at least an hour in me per day. So, look forward to that. Uh, guys, thanks for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing and following and chatting and all the other good stuff you can do both here on Twitch and on YouTube, and I will see you next time.